Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming Africa Cup of Nations final and it pits Senegal versus Egypt. This fixture will be played at the Olembe Stadium in Cameroon. While that stadium does not feature on the virtual red patch that I use, another stadium from Cameroon does. It is actually where the third place fixture will be played. It's the Amadou Ahijo in Yaoundé. So our background for the preview will be the Amadou Ahijo. Bear in mind, if you're able to watch this live, you will be at the Alembe. And lucky you, these are two fun sides to watch. Got a great matchup here. Koulibaly and Salah, the captains, ready to lead their sides out. As the players take the pitch, let's take another look around. Our stand-in, the Amadou Ahijo, before we pause for the National Anthem. kickoff and complete their pre-match festivities. Let's take a look at our starting laps. For Senegal, they line up at a 4-3-3. Liverpool's Sadio Mane, PSG's Gaia, Napoli's Koulibaly, and Chelsea's Edward Mendy. The players to watch for Senegal. Talent at every level of the formation. For Egypt, they line up at a 4-2-3-1. Aston Villa's Trezeguet in left midfield, and Liverpool's Mo Salah in right midfield. Your players to watch for Egypt. A look at our calf umbro ball for the Africa Cup of Nations, and we are underway in Cameroon. Interesting matchup here. Egypt plays a pretty conservative style. They advanced over Cameroon in the semifinals via penalty kicks. Senegal. Look at that diving header! Senegal, a bit more attacking. It took them a while to grow into this tournament here, but the last couple of matches they've had their goal scoring boots on. They are in the final for a 3 win victory over Burkina Faso in the semis. Sadio Mane's diving header there. Mo Salah versus Sadio Mane, of course, the two great Liverpool wingers. One of the stories here, the other being that these two are facing off in the final round of the CAF World Cup qualifying process. A two-legged tie. In the coming couple months, we'll decide which of these two sides will be going to Qatar and which one will not. Kind of disappointing to think that one of these sides aren't going to be there. Dijo scores! Right now, Senegal. Turn over the attack in third. You hear it all the time. Very hot. The manager of Sonia Mane and Marcel in Liverpool. Creates chances of Dijo. And Marcel actually nutmeg there by Sadio Mane. Turned over. Dijo gets it back. And he scores. It's 
Senegal. How will Egypt respond? Played a very conservative style throughout this tournament. That is certainly a product of their manager. at left back up, Diate Jaye Jaye So in Egypt you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 men back Wasn't enough on the goal He's behind again Daijo, Dijo, 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 I'm not entirely sure of the pronunciation. I apologize for that, but he's got two here. He's the striker for Senegal. It's important. Look at that finish. He's got two here. Senegal hold on. He's well on his way to a man of the match in a cup final. Egypt, 45th minute. Probably ready for halftime here so they can recollect. They have to make some big changes now. See some two goals in the second half. No silence as a game company. We'll see what they come up with at halftime. Look at the halftime stats, as you might predict. It's been all Senegal. Over 60% possession, three shots to none. Double the passes. Two shots of which have found the back of the net from Diajo. And there was, of course, the diving header from Sadio Mane early that was off the mark. So second half here, Egypt got a lot of work to do. Let's see what they came up with during their halftime talk. No substitutions, but I imagine there will be some kind of tactical adjustment as, as they move into an extreme chase mode now. Sar forward to Dijo. He is off sides. He's looking for Hassan. He's going to skip over the midfield and, and head right for the top of the formation. It doesn't work out for Egypt. Sar, he is looking for Gaye. PSG man, he's got some room. Shot knocked away. Elmo Hamadi. It's so back to El Shenway. He's looking for Warda. He's going to get there. Diajo. Oh, no. Sadio Mane. Senegal. Don't expect it to be this one sided. Egypt plays a very conservative defensive approach. I don't see three goals being scored. I see the disappointment there. But we shall see. Anything can happen. Senegal has scored three on Burkina Faso. They scored three on Equatorial Guinea as well, so we know they can score. They got a bigger challenge against Egypt here, but for the sake of this preview, everything is going the way of Senegal. Sadio Mane. Finish there, the double insurance goal. Past the hour mark now, a lot to do for Egypt. Out 
out to Trezeguet. Oh, is that going to be a penalty? Or are they going to call a dive here? Oh, yeah, they, it was a dive. It was a dive. <laughs> Back. He hasn't been challenged too much today. So I don't think he's been challenged at all yet today. Kuyate. attempt from Sadio Mane. Diving header that's off the mark. 19th minute. Little clumsy in possession there and Dayaju finishes for Senegal. Third minute, Gaye to Sar to Daijo beats the keeper again. 2 0 Senegal. 59th minute, PSG man Gaye finds some space that is saved on this clearance. Sadio Mane. Receives it from Diageo and finishes in the corner. 3-0 Senegal. That was pretty much all she wrote. Trezeguet booked for simulation in the 70th minute. And that's it for the Africa Cup of Nations from Cameroon. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.